All right, so question from Jessie Jess today. And she says, uh, the past year and a half I've been trying to become lucid and I've made some progress. I'm curious as to what it feels like when, I sh when I'm making progress. You know, how do I know that I'm making progress and I've had a lucid dream? Um, I feel like I've been remembering my dreams more, writing them down. I had a moment when I realized I was dreaming and did the finger to palm trick, the reality check. Uh, and then she tried to jump really high and then she woke up. Um, so she says, when I become fully lucid, will I be able to tell? Will I, will I know that it's happening? Uh, in other words, and what is something basic I should try when I become lucid, and then am I on the right path to become lucid? Any tips? So, when you become lucid, when you actually have your first lucid dream, the chances are it will be a very short experience. It will probably be about 30 seconds, if that. Okay, you're going to be very excited, it's going to be emotionally charged, and you're going to wake yourself up. Most of the time, 99% of the time, that's what's happening. Okay. You're so excited about this new experience and because you're already in that fragile state between awake and dreaming, your mind is very easily tipped uh, in normally to the awake side, right? Because your mind is actually aware and awake, it's very easy to wake yourself up okay? because you're already partly awake. I hope this makes sense. So yeah, the chances are when you first have your lucid dream, uh, it will be so short that you probably won't realise it's a lucid dream until after you've woken up sort of thing. You'll, you'll remember it almost as if it's instantly just happened, okay? Because it has, it's literally been a few seconds ago, right? You were in the lucid dream very briefly, then you wake up. So obviously it's gonna feel like it's just happened and you've just woken up. So that's not really necessarily a bad thing, and it does kind of mean you're on the right track because you've had that awareness, you've, you've become lucid, right? So just keep going with that. And when you experience your first full lucid dream, what I, what I describe as a full lucid dream is where you, you're in the dream for at least a minute or so, at least a minute, maybe a minute or five minutes even, okay? And you're in the dream and you're walking around and you can make a conscious decision to do something, whether it's explore a particular place in the dream or whether you're deciding to talk to a particular person. But the definition is that you are aware of the fact that it's a dream whilst you're in the dream and you can then decide to do something instead of being sort of carried with the flow of the dream and just sort of caught up in what's going on. Because when that happens, you're not really in control. You're just sort of experiencing it and seeing yourself do something, right? So you will know when you've had one because you'll be aware of what you're doing and you'll know when you wake up and you're remembering this, you'll know that you decided to do something particular, okay? So it might be a good idea if you're worried about sort of telling where you are and judging your progress. Uh, Pick a specific thing to do. So whether it's, you know, fly or explore a particular place, talk to a particular person, or even just do something physical like jump or, or do a press up or something like that. Something that you can measure and that you know when you've done it, right? So maybe pick a, a particular goal and then aim to do that the second you become lucid and that way you'll know when you've done it because you'll remember doing it, right? And so hopefully you've been working on your dream recall and remembering dreams, writing your dreams down every morning, because that is kind of important, really. If you're, you know, if you're doing all this and making all this effort and you can't remember them, then there's not really much point, is there? So it's very important to uh, write them down and remember what you're doing. Uh, and as for any other tips, I, that's, that's kind of it for now, I guess. You're on the right track. Uh, maybe try some listening to some binaural beats before you go to sleep. When you're, if you don't already meditate, maybe try meditating in the evening and the morning. Uh, this is very helpful, this is what I've done for maybe a year or two now. So um, yeah, there's probably a link to the meditation tracks I usually use in the description. I think they're called Enora. Yeah, the Enora, binaural beats. I would highly recommend those. Um, so yeah, I hope that's answered your question. If you have any questions, please send them in. If you're new, please subscribe, because then you'll get the new updates, right? And I'll see you in the next video.